Hello, welcome back to the channel guys. As you know, my name is Josh. I wanted to try a little bit of something different. I really want to try and do a, a bit of a podcast scenario. So we're just going to sit here and have a chat with these guys. Um, I just wanted to know what their experience was with moving from another country and here in Eng moving to England and what their experiences are with that. So um, Ken, if you want to introduce yourself first. Hello guys, so my name's Ken. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm originally from the Philippines and I moved here six years ago. And now I'm currently based in London and I work as a stroke rehabilitation nurse. Yeah. This is where I met Ken. We, um, yeah. When I lived in London, uh, we met through this guy here. And you are? Yeah. My name is Juan Carlos. Uh, I am another nurse. Uh, I live in London. And I came from Spain uh, five years ago. And I work in a critical care unit as a nurse. Awesome. And you probably met one before because of the videos. We used to live together um, as well. So... Um, so you five, six years, five six years, years yeah. in yeah. the UK. And when when you first came, where did you come straight to London or was you somewhere else first? Me, uh, I, I came from the Philippines and then I worked for some time in Australia and then come here to the oh, UK. Really? Yeah. yeah. And where, <laughs> That's where my UK, journey was. And you landed in the UK first. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, no, no. In London. London. Yeah. And you've been there forever. I've been there for the rest yeah. of the yeah. years. And you say, like you came straight from Spain, no? I came straight from Spain after studying and then I went to Birmingham first. I stayed mm -hmm. there for a year and then I came here to London. And, <laughs> and I, I, uh, I know you can do a great Birmingham accent. What did you pick up from Birmingham? Oh, we went to the pub and we fucking fought. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you... Did you yeah. like Birmingham? Or what was your, what was the most what was the best part of Birmingham? The best part of Birmingham is when you finally understand the accent. <laughs> 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 Wait, didn't you, you said something about being on the but the bus? Oh yeah, I was on the bus uh, trying to like to get a ticket and then I was like, can I can I get a day saver please? <laughs> and the and the bus driver was like, what? And I was like, a, de a day saver ticket. And he was like, oh, you mean day saver? <laughs> <laughs> And that was my daily daily routine, you know, trying to get the accent. Yeah, yeah. okay. Everywhere I went. <laughs> and then why did you move to uh, London from Birmingham? Um, I think in London you have more experience, uh, more, um, uh, how do you call it, uh, opportunities and, you know. Yeah, this, uh, yeah, this yeah. is why I moved across as well. Yeah, yeah. 100%. The opportunities and the people from everywhere that you meet and, you know, the, the cultural experience is amazing. So. Yeah. Yeah, and you moved straight from Australia to London. So yes, how did you find the the transition? Period? It was like, not. Uh, I would say it wasn't so so bad. It wasn't so difficult because you know what you see in Australia, you see in England. So when I arrived here in England, uh, it, it, it's like a second home for me. You know, um, it was also same as his. You know, there's a lot of jargons here that I don't understand, like spending a penny. So I thought it was like. <laughs> How would I? S I haven't you, got anything. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that was because <laughs> the, the, the public toilets back in the day, you, yeah. had, to, you had to pay a penny yeah. to be able to go to the toilet. So that's, that's that's where that comes from. Yeah, and also because you know, um, my orientation is like American English. So here the terms are quite so different as compared to like you know when or you're you're orientated with American English as compared to like an in a British English. Yeah. Because like take for example, you pronounce there here the. You know where the flowers are being put vase so yeah, what's vase, vase? <laughs> they, they drink water from the bus what, what's <laughs> vase so i was like bus is it bus or what so yeah so yeah so it's different. like vase yeah, so yeah. yeah so the difference is like you know but you know as eventually as years pass by so i was able to like really cope with it and you know i love london so and for me it's like a home you said the australian culture is similar to us i suppose yeah. like very we, we say like we're we're West, westernized. Westernized, very, but very yeah, same, right? but quite similar because you know a lot of British people are like the expats are there in Australia. Yeah. So you know how Australia, Australia is still like um, their allegiance is with the Queen. So yeah, you know true, mostly yeah, like true. a British there. So exactly, it wasn't yeah. the transition wasn't so bad to begin yeah. with. Yeah. And what about for you the transition like moving from Spain to because I feel like it's very different here. No? Well, just in terms of the weather because. <laughs> That's the main difference I found when I came here because I'm quite easy. So, mm. you know, in terms of food, then I can cook my own Spanish food, so that's no problem. Then in terms of work, there are some major difference mm -hmm. differences, but they're not, I mean, they're 
public system is more or less the same as in Spain. So, mm -hmm. what was one of your yeah. um, what was one of your expectations coming to like live in England, and was the expectation met? The expectations would be. I'll tell you what, it was more like uh, to work without worrying about having to change your contract every six, seven months. Oh, because your nursing is different then. Because in mm. Spain, is diff nursing is different, so you, yeah. you don't know where you're going to be in the next five months, yeah. sometimes. So you, do, you, don't get, you don't get based in one hospital, you get... Is, is that right? Yeah. So yeah, you, like you, in yeah. here, we get, obviously, we get a job on what in one hospital or on one ward. In a long-term contract. But whereas you, you can get called up eat different hospitals from week to week you make yourself available wherever you want and then from this mm. list of hospitals or places they'll call you even then, if it's like miles away you have to go yeah you have to go and maybe it's a, it's only only like a late shift or early shift and then you come back two miles 200 miles back no yeah yeah, yeah. but um what about any like stereotypes of England that did? <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know what stereotypes do you guys have of, you know, of, my, of England? <laughs> I'll tell you one. On my first day, I had a stereotype of like English people going crazy with the good weather. And on my first day, <laughs> I arrived to the train station in Birmingham and I was with someone pick, picking me up from the hospital. And, um, and then I saw a few, like a group of people. It was like 21 degrees, so it wasn't, it wasn't so, so, so hot. And then they were all half naked <laughs> with buckets of water, throwing it on the head. And then I, I, I asked the guy, is this normal here? <laughs> and, and the guy was like, no, no, they're crazy. So don't worry, it's not no, the general thing. It, it is to fit. <laughs> English people see the sun in the sky, we go crazy for the yeah. sun. Yeah. I, so yeah, that's, that's, that's one stereotype I missed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And for you, what about like what any stereotypes you thought before um, before before coming and meeting? No, us? because me, I come from the Far East, so it's quite different. So we don't normally like see foreign people. Yeah. So when we see foreign people, I was like, whoa, they're like celebrities. So <laughs> when I came over here, I had the notion that foreigners are really tall, like uh, all of them, most. So when I came over, oh my god, there's like small <laughs> midget <laughs> British people. So I was like, okay, okay, I can. I can was manage. That, was that <laughs> Philippine you know, people are quite short? Yeah, right? we're yeah, short, yeah. By, so yeah, we're short in short. nature, of course. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. when you came here, you, I've got this notion that British people like, are like okay. so tall, but oh my god, you know, sometimes like, oh my god, they're quite short as well than me, or even like less taller than me. So that's what my uh, stereotype was. Yeah. Like, yeah, most of the foreign more. people are like taller what's, than. What's um, any, what's like a, have you got a bad. Thing that's happened since you've been here like what's the uh oh, like what being in, what, like what's the worst thing about being here ah uh, what would i say um, not really like bad i would say like not really like a bad thing i would say um when i came over here um to be honest with you i can't really point out any any bad things that i have like experience over here in england that's, so that's it was really good the experience was really good um probably Probably sometimes your accent, the way you say things, you know, they, they would say sometimes you don't understand. But we have, like, with all this. Literally, I'm in Nottingham and Derby, Leicester, Sheffield, mm. within like 20 miles of each mm -hmm. other. There's mm -hmm. a different accent mm -hmm. in each one, mm -hmm. so you're never going to get used to them. Like and you know, the thing is with foreign people, like, take for example, English is not our first language. So the thing is, it's so stressful for the whole day to speak English. Yeah. You know that for us, because, you know, our minds like translating. So it's yeah. not like automatically English. So when they say, like when you, I say, you, yeah, if you, I wanted to like think on something, Something I have to like translate it on my yeah, mind to English. Speaking. Yeah, before speaking, so it's kind of stress yeah. <laughs> when I'm starting. But yeah, I get by day by day. So yeah. And for you, like, what's any any what's the worst thing about being in England? The worst thing about being in England. Uh, don't say, I cannot, don't I cannot say the name. Careful, yeah. Be no, careful. No. Whether, whether it's included in the, in the minor, <laughs> don't, don't, in the don't minor. mention any names either. No, right? no, 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 no. <laughs> I won't. No, no. I I think the weather is just included in the minor minor you know yeah. downsides. But, but otherwise, it's good to live here. I think so. Yeah. 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 Livable. Yeah. You can thrive. You can thrive here. Yeah. And yeah, right. thrive in city. And what, what's the, what's the best thing about being here? The best thing about being here. What's your been? What's been one of your best days living in England? Ooh, wow. You get. The thing is because you have influences from all over the world. You meet so many people. At the end, your package of knowledge that you get is amazing. You will end up knowing about everything. You will, you will, you know, get involved yourself in a lot of things like music, 
you will meet people that make videos like for example yeah, like Ken, Ken. Um, a lot of people that will inspire you to do things I um, think like yeah. when I moved to London I think we're very um, like a close-knit like culture up here yeah but London because there's so many cultures coming from different countries and yeah. things there's so many people to meet different people like you guys the other one at the hospital Ken from mm -hmm. yeah there's just so many different nationalities mm -hmm. and things coming together mm -hmm. in this one place which I think mm -hmm. makes London quite a special place and well yeah, I, I don't so. know if there's, I'm sure there's other places in the world mm -hmm. like it but it's quite yeah, unique so. no? like the, yeah. the culture that there's, there is a London culture of, of all the cultures coming mm -hmm. together yeah mm -hmm. yeah and speaking of culture, we were speaking about cultures earlier. Like, um, I was talking about the, the the please and thank you things. Yeah. I think like <laughs> being a British person um, living here and having a um, not a stereotype of foreign people, but we mm. we were saying earlier about the the please and thank yous was these guys in their culture. Then it's not, not so common. You don't really say please not so that common. much. Yeah, not so common. But then it's not rude either. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not a rude thing as long as you say thank you. It's we, just a cultural difference. Yeah. It's a cultural yeah. difference. Yeah. 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 But, um, Someone has to understand that it's cultural difference. So. They're, not be, they're not being rude, but yes. being like, I want some That's water, true. not I want yeah. some water, please. Whereas <laughs> we're brought up with, mm. if you don't say you please and thank yous, you don't get what you want. That's true. You have to Very have your manners. But That's correct. That's one thing I took actually, um, mm -hmm. the different cultures and things. Mm -hmm. yeah. When I uh, met you guys, you know, it's it's... Before I used to think, oh, all foreign people are just rude because they don't have manners, mm. or they they don't have manners, right? This is the this is the stereotype that we have against you guys, is that you're rude people because you don't use your manners. But it's just different cultures have different things, right? Yeah. yeah. And one thing I re realize is that with everyone coming to England, <coughs> um, that we're all pretty much in the same. We're all the same people, mm -hmm. um, just from different backgrounds. We're yeah, all that's true. we're trying to achieve. The same thing. You want mm -hmm. you want a good job, you want to provide for your family, you that's want true. to get going in life, and so that's what's true. like. And this is a lot of people have objections about people migrating across, and that's true. Um, but we're all just in the same boat, really. We were, yes. we all want, we all want to achieve. Yeah. that's that's the main thing. Yeah, I think so. perfect. And I think um, before moving to London, I was kind of in the same thing. Do you know the, the stereotype of they're coming over here, they're stealing our jobs, and blah blah blah. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah, it's it's not the case at all. I think uh, you guys are my best friends. I've met you um, through this adventure, and yes, you know, there you go. I realise you're not you're not all rude, <laughs> <laughs> and you're not stealing our jobs either. <laughs> but yeah. Then, what about like between like any differences between your experience, or would you say you you pretty much had the both? Does it matter where you come from abroad or? I don't know if you two have spoken privately about your experience of moving like to England, but, but would uh, you say it's a, you both had the same experience or different? I would say it's mainly the main as aspects of coming here. I think it was more or less, more or less the same. I would yeah. Say. yeah, because, you know, as you said earlier, you know, we came here for the same reason because, you know, we wanted a purpose. We wanted to achieve. We wanted stability. We wanted opportunities to open for us. And you know, um, one of those, one probably of the best place to like really start a life is actually here in England or the entire UK. I mean, this is something like a dream, dream place for me. As you know, personally, on, on my case, you know, this is like a dream place for me. Yeah. And you know, that's what I realized as well when I came here in the UK for the last six years. I can say to myself that when. If you are in London or if you are in the UK, you can be whatever you wanted to be. For yeah. as long as you know how to use your your skills, you know how to use your your strengths, and you know make them into something bigger, yeah. then you can achieve in whatever field you wanted to be, and mm -hmm. not really limited to just being a nurse. But you can really expand if you know how to use your cards well. Yeah, like, that's how I think it is. Yeah, and like once, like say, because I, I think I want to move to Spain at some point, or like mm -hmm. I live out there for at least yes, six months. Yes, definitely. What's, what what um, what tip would you give, or anyone that wants to come to England? What tip would you give them if they wanted well, to move abroad? Uh, the first one would be the language. Without language, you cannot do anything. Mm. So just uh, make sure that you have at least the basic English. Yeah, well, you're Spanish in, for me, no? Yeah, in Spain it's more or less uh, you can get by if you know someone from Spain, or yeah. if you have basics in Spanish, they will they will try and help you. Same here in England. It depends what you want, what you want to do in the country you you go to, but but yeah, language I would say is the first thing, yeah. and to have a very clear 
uh, purpose of what you want to do, what yeah. you want to achieve. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, same as for me, you know, for those of you who are like really planning to like move out, um, venture into something new or in a new place, the first thing probably is to like really prepare yourself and you know to know yourself and to know what you wanted to do because if you have a goal if you set yourself for a goal then you know where you're going and you yeah. know what you need to prepare for because you just don't want to dive into something that is not known to you you have to like prepare everything has to be prepared uh, and you have to like be you know you have to be very um, I think courageous as well because you know moving out from exactly, one place to yeah. another it's like moving to a strange place that is like 360 degrees different from the culture that you've grown with and you know it's out of your comfort zone so there's will be a lot of challenges it's not always like happy days there there will be so many challenges that you have exactly, that you yeah. will have to encounter and you know that's how life is that's how experiences and you know just have to enjoy and you know just be excited whatever comes in yeah okay then you guys have to order an Uber. <laughs> yeah. What time, yeah. what time is it now? Quick, quick, quick. Tell There's still time. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Book, book, book one, and then by the time we finish, yeah, we'll, it, we'll, it will arrive. The problem there is there's no signal here. Okay, so these guys have got to get a taxi, so we're going to end it there. <laughs> so uh, thanks for joining in. Hopefully you found that a bit informative, and let us know if you actually liked it. I'd like to do more of these kind of podcast things. So um, yeah, so it's goodbye from him. Bye, thank you. And him? Ciao. Ciao, ciao. And me. Adios. 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 Bye. Ciao, ciao. Bye.